All right, everybody. Uh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, am I, am I going to start now? Yes. Swag. So today I want to tell you guys about why I love Bedman. Just to clarify, it's this one. Not, not the ill. Warn, this prenstration's not for the weak of heart. Bedman is scary. Bedman... Freaky? Oh yeah, the warning. Uh, don't get spooked, I guess. That's bad, methinks. This Bedman. Um, I got it backwards, but it's okay. I'll just fix it later. And I don't know why this is blue, but we ball. Timothy Bedbert is a uh, smart boy. Do I even have to explain? He's a literal <laughs> razor computer. He even shoots electricity. Electri uh, <laughs> eels, uh, electricity. 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 Uh, lightning! He shoots lightning! <laughs> Sorry. Look at that. I love Jim Bedbugs far slash because there's such a long range. Jesus Christ, Bed dude, watch me slaying in that thing! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh my god! <laughs> 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 That's oh, really man. good! Holy shit! Alright, sorry, go on. 5k back shots. Slade would approve. Very dandy. And I ask for silence for this next slide has very important lore. Anyways, <laughs> Johnny Bedford <laughs> <is silly. laughs> he, has, he has an array of interesting moves such as the giggity, tickle fingers, <laughs> copyright infringement, big slaps, and oopsie daisy. <laughs> Bedman, real name Romeo F. Newman, is a male of unknown age, appearing as a young unconscious boy. Though constantly in a forcefully induced state of sleep. No, this bit's getting old. Also, that's the wrong character. Um, <laughs> not this one. I. Badman. This. This Bedman. Yeah. I see. Um, he can move like this midair, I think. It's because robots cannot jump or something. G guilty G lore. <laughs> yeah, um, like that. And, uh. He is the only S, 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 S plus plus minus plus minus equals plus plus ranked character. I love Henry Bedlegs. And now you're dead because he uses overdrive. Ah, 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 ah. Alright, oh, any questions? Oh no, get off the stage. Okay, bye. I love you. Bye. Alright! Um, up next is, up next is, uh, uh let me check. Saren. Paracelsus. Saren. In defense of Abba, as told by me. Alright. <clears throat> this is gonna be a good one. Alright, here goes. The fuck said I could defend her? What the fuck? What is, what is going on in Paracelsus's head? Instead, here is clean near details on how to build a nuclear generator. Step uh -huh. one. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm going to oh, stop right now. I'm going to. No, 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 by Gaxter, aka Jack Mingus, aka Jack the Red, aka Mingus Gerald Knapp, Ker Ker Bird, age three. I like soul, but Asakur is cool. Magic boy, turn the slide. Hello, guys, welcome to my presentation about Asakur from Guilty Gear. In this pissing tantal, yo, I will list why Asuka is awesome, sauce, and way cooler than Kai, and why he is so cool, awesome, and this is lore and stuff.
turn the page. He outfits so cool. Biblically accurate eye patch. He outfits so big, awesomes like crosses and stuff. Crosses are cool. I fuck with Christians. They got banger lore. <laughs> he got the sneakers, space robes. His theme is so cool. I like oh, organs and heavy guitar and all this stuff. Real heavy. It's so cool. Asuka's theme, the gravity, is symbolic of gold creating a better world but failing, and his self-loathing and acceptance of his errors. It also creates references to his former close friend Frederick, aka Soul Bad Guy, in the line, Did the Sun Defy Fate? He is very... colon three. He has cat ears and exert. He would 100 say... 100% say colon free in any conversation. Hehehe, <laughs> cubes, cube. He has this like funny cube attack where he shoots bouncing cube things. Fuck FBAs! Ah! Stop blocking the text! Fuck you! Full screen zoning! Suck my voluptuous ass cheeks! He works out. <laughs> you gotta maintain <laughs> that twink build. I bet he got hips of God under there. Like, do y'all think he uses, like, um, er, a spell or something to stay in shape? Or does he, like, work out? Turn the page. He was the main villain for, like, 20 years or something, and he was revealed to be a cat boy. <laughs> Base dice, okay, for real, for real. <laughs> he was friends with Soul, that means he's very tr cool beans. For real, though, Soul is cool, but Asuka was friends with him, so that means he's cool, and he still thinks Soul is cool, so he's very cool. Erm, um, ignore that. Soul's theme also W. Good opinion. He is nerd. I think nerds are cool and smart, but they don't have- He don't have glasses. He study all the spells and stuff. He is so smart. He reading. He is cute. I wanna hug him. Like, the damn. No wonder Soul's bisexual. He's working with this guy for years. Soul's bisexual, by the way, was confirmed by Daisuke. Ah, curse my beloved. Oh. Oh, no, no, fuck you. I'm not reading this one. <laughs> I'm not, fuck you, I'm not reading this one. <laughs> He's a fucking nerd ass loser. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not reading this one. <laughs> Honorable mention, look at this. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Um, in conclusion, thank you for watching. Thanks, Meek Off 2, for the soul bad vibe. He's cool beans, but don't disrespect my boy, Asuka. Me when I fucking get you. <laughs> That was pretty good. That was that was uh, that was that was honorable. That's up. All right. Can you see? Uh huh. All right. So these are my ideas for a fighting game. And before you ask, this yes, I am playing this completely straight. No jokes here. Okay. All right. So first of all, I wanted to implement a more less is more single player approach for single player content. It's no secret that fighting games have a massive problem with single player content and bang for your buck kind of deals. And we don't really have the budget or time or budget or knowledge or budget to make a big uh, op world tour kind of thing. So instead of that, we want to do something that older games have done, for example, Blaze Blue, which is grab the core gameplay of fighting with something <laughs> else and just expanding onto that, having creative ways of doing like. All right, how can we make this more interesting? How can we make this more fun, you know? And just running with that. And one of the ways we actually came up with that is, and you may not like this, artificial intelligence. Now, before you blow a fucking fuse and shove a damn sword down my throat, which, ouch, let me just make a case. AI has the possibility to make more, a play, bleh, has the possibility to make the CPU play more like a human player. Assessing risk and reward in a very interesting way, which could lead to the AI doing like actual layered mix-ups and more intricate combos. The AI could even add resets to the mix if trained with only usage of the character and the player that is actually fighting. It could lead to more interesting gameplay and teaching the actual player how to fight the, the character online and also adapt on the fly and change how it plays. Uh, a lot of CPUs on fighting games have the problem of either being too easy or just going fuck it, I'm going to read your inputs and you can do nothing about that. I believe this strikes a more good balance, like you can have an actual challenge even if you are already experienced, and you can have fun playing the single playing games, just mashing <laughs> so far slash. <laughs> 
and we also think it could improve the tutorial adding actual fights with the ai that is tweaked to teach you certain concepts without just ward vomiting on top of you maxler could i stop you there for a second and let you know about yes. something so tekken 8 actually has one of the most intuitive ai um like ghost battle things where you can like train against like other player players characters yep. and like the recordings of them and it's actually super duper useful it like even records people's things down to like the base level of their like their gimmicks like the resets their gameplay how much yep. combos they drop uh i think had it too. i think that is a good avenue to look into but there's a big example to look into for it anyways Absolutely. sorry I, for I, sorry I have another example. hey ender please <laughs> okay uh I'd like to butt in at the end if you want to add anything, but uh, okay. for now, if it allows you. Uh, but for now, uh, Tekken was actually a bit of an inspiration. I remember fighting that and just destroy. It's flawed. I remember beating a ghost by literally just matching one. Yeah. I, I even have a video of it. Uh, so what we want to do is, with the AI and being trained not only with a singular player but the entire community. Uh, they can actually respond to that, and it's just not only a player, but the character, how people generally play the character. I see. And it could also, with the data it collects and how the AI uh, plays, we can get data on, all right, this part of the character is too weak, too strong, blah, 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 blah things like that. And it could even lead to us finding things that we didn't intend there to be and could be extremely busted and I see. it could help us a lot on the balance side. That's good. Next, uh, this is short, I'll explain, I'll just lead to something. Uh, the control scheme, uh, we just wanted a control scheme that is like a mix of Guilty Gear and pretty much every other fighting game, like, you know, the light, medium, heavy, special. And we also want to add a, like a multi-use button, which is essentially just the dust button, you know, an overhead, a low, and a grab. And speaking of grabs, that is the part we're going to innovate a lot in with idea 4, throws. Uh, this is also short, I'll show you why later, but um, throws in fighting games have always been in, a little bit inconsistent. You know, sometimes you're a street fighter and you have a forward and back throw that are completely different, like C can. Sometimes you're guilty gear and you have literally the same throw regardless of the direction. And sometimes you're king of fighters. We don't talk about King of Fighters. We personally want to make like a more intricate and free-flowing system that gave complete and utter control to the actual player and not context. And we didn't want to go with one of the extremes instead of giving more, like I said, options. I even made a picture, which I'm going to uh, show all of you, to explain this in a little bit more detail and just read through it. This is old, uh, if you can't tell. Uh, it's so old, it's back when my team was called Tamos, and not Focus Lily, if you are wondered what FL means in my name, that's it. And you have the initial grab, which, similar to Guilty Gear, is done with a multi-use button, like I mentioned. And up to a certain point in the animation, you can press another button, and the animation changes. If you press nothing, press D, or press the only use button again, the B animation plays. You have the A animation which is a very low damaging attack that leaves your opponent very close and lets you do Oki. It's literally just that. Watch this Oki. Then you have bottom B, which is just a basic throw. Uh, some characters may be able to get like safe jumps and good, okay, and good Oki, some others might not. And then you have C, which is like the big move, broader than like grappler damage. You send them tumbling all the way, like you just landed a counter hit Fafnir and they just fly to the other side of the screen. And you can do no Oki after that, except in the corner where you can still get a little bit of Oki, but it's not really good. And those are all the ideas I wanted to present today, so thank you very much for hearing my presentation. I don't know if you could actually listen to the music, but thank you very much for, for being here. That was my favorite one so far. Jesus fucking Christ, Maxler. Good shit. It's on the Rango. Oh, that kicks ass. <laughs> What is Rango? Rango was a spaghetti western starring Johnny Depp and written by Gore Verbinski. And it's a story of a chameleon who is thrust from his um, home and is left to wander the desert in search of not only self-identity, but coincidentally a small town with a water crisis. The first 
films of Verbansky were a series of 8mm films called The Driver Files. He got his first job as a script reader in 1987, directed music videos for bands. After his first short film, The Ritual, Verbansky made his feature film with Mou de debut with Mouse Hunt. He then directed Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, he made Weatherman, he directed Dead Man's Chest, and At World's End. He was going to direct a Bioshock movie before it got canned because people don't know what peak is. And he made Bang Rango because at the time he thought animation was easy. Now I want to talk about some of the scenes, such as the Spirit of the West scene. Am I Are we allowed to watch through the scene? Yes. Alright. This is, this is a bit long. So... Wait, 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 wait. On you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta speed it up a bit. Sorry, that took like a lot of right. time. First, the lighting minutes. of the first, the lighting of the scene. It's very heavenly, baked in a lot of um. It's saturated, blends together. It's almost like the world is at peace. The light. <sighs> the light also has a neat thing of representing how information works in the West. The spirit's covered by light and appears angelic. But his face for most of the beginning of that scene is still covered in darkness until we see that it's literally just Clint Eastwood. This is the next scene because I will be here for an hour if I do with the rest of that. Yeah. No 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 I didn't say play it. I didn't say play it. No 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 no. I'm sure everyone here has watched Rango. Okay. You can talk about how good it is. Just just. No, I'm not trying to play it. What the hell? Ah, ah! <laughs> there we go. There it is. This scene is a callback to earlier in the movie when Ake first challenges Rango. When, you know, to shoot him in the face. And when Rango doesn't, isn't able to do that, Jake calls him out on it saying he doesn't have the killer's look in his eyes. This time, when Rango quotes back to Jake, it only takes one bullet. Jake once again claims he doesn't have the nerve, only this time to see that previous fire in the eyes when Rango says, try me. It demonstrates Rango's entire growth from a lying actor to someone who actually is the sheriff of this town. From a nobody to a self-made legend. And what makes Rango special? The film was described as a motion capture, and the actors shot their scenes in live action for the animators to use as reference. Each of these, like, side-by-sides are all, like, things they filmed, in costume. It was a homage to all that makes Spaghetti Westerns great. The attention to detail and the little touches that the movie has just makes it so much better. It also has a snake with a, a rattlesnake with a minigun for a tail. <laughs> and a little mustache on his scales. Which would be a rattlesnake Jake. You know, this guy. <laughs> I never noticed he had a mustache! Yeah, no. Wait, that, that's oh, awesome. Wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Damn. 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 Yeah. Wait, I like that. Okay. Anyway. Questions? No. No. Good, because we're out of time. Uh, <laughs> All right. A presentation about Puma, <laughs> the bear, <laughs> um, and why he's the most awesome, awesome, awesome Mr. Bear to ever exist, and why that's so freaking epic. Made by, made by me. This took me like I did this in ten minutes. Um, it's very in depth. So Kuma's a bear. <laughs> he sure is. Um, uh, I I while I was looking for images, I I found I found this one. I don't. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Holy shit! Alright, 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 alright. No, 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 no. Let the presenter speak. Uh, alright, okay. Uh. Scares me. Uh, he does combos. Uh, he, do he does strings. It's a bear. He does cool. Um, his lore is pretty cool. So, <laughs> why is it why is the text missing? Well, no. Um, I don't remember if you know if you remember. He's uh, I made him Freddy Fazbear, personally. Uh, what out? Fuck out, <laughs> uh, um, 
Yeah, he's cool. He's bare me's cool. All right, any questions? That was dope. I, hate, I, I liked it. I got no. I got no questions. Big, big. All right. Oh, Dragon awesome. Owl, do you want to yeah. present next? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I mean awesome. I did. I did my presentation on why Yakuza Kiwami 2 is peak. I was gonna add a green mm, filter no. to the uh, presentation, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. Uh, Ryuji Goda. <laughs> Fuck yeah! That's all uh, we need. Yakuza Kiwami filter, green Kiwami. I love green Kiwami filter. Ryuji Goda. Yeah! Yeah! Ryuji Goda. Yeah! Ryuji Goda. Hey, you. Why he dressed like Michiki? <laughs> That's Tatsuya! <laughs> <laughs> It has Ryuji Goda. <laughs> <laughs> Daigo looks really good in this game. I really like how Daigo looks in this game. Kawami 2 epic. I love Kawami 2. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I didn't like Don Doko Island. <laughs> <laughs> I think the combat is really fun. I like heat action and I like Dragon Engine. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's that spit up? <laughs> oh, it's playing again. Oh, oh. J just, just move to the next slide. <laughs> 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 Real. Combat fun part two. We're breaking the law. <laughs> Dead Soul sucks, it doesn't have Ryuji Gilda in it. Is that Joe Biden? <laughs> Ryuji Gota. Here he looks really good in this game. The Majima Saga bonus content was really good and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Smoking. <laughs> it has Mr. Shakedown. I like Mr. Shakedown. Go down. <laughs> Look at Ryuji Goda. I love him. Majima is quirky and fun in this game, and it brings a smile to my face. I enjoyed Majima Construction. I also never played it. Majima is fun. <laughs> Leon from Resident Evil, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the story is really good. <laughs> it has Ryuji Goda. I love Ryuji Goda. <laughs> Ryuji Goda. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I like Ryuji Goda. He has a lot of character. He has character traits. I think he has a personality. And he might have a character design. I like Ryuji Goda. <laughs> I actually really like Kalami 2, it is my favorite game ever. He, uh, Ryuji Gota is also my favorite villain. Gota have sword. <laughs> ROOCH NATION! Thank you. Real man ought to be a little hungry. That was fucking oh, amazing. God. Whoever's saying I hate this, get the fuck out. Your turn, Hugo. What you got? Yeah, give me a sec. I'll share my screen. Is that visible for everyone? Yes, I see. Yes. Cool. Okay. I like this already. Why the Netherlands fucking rocks? By Uncouth Alchemist, aka Flame and Wolf, aka Hucho, aka me. Flat. The Netherlands is very, very flat. Like one of our pancakes, which you can see on the right. right back. Who the fuck needs those anyways, right? Weed. Weed has been pretty much legal for quite a while here and it's actually one of the main tourist attractions in Amsterdam and something that we are known for deep fried snacks 
we dunk a lot of shit in hot oil. Such as the Frikandel, one of the classics. Another classic is the Croquette. And of course, the Bitterballe, which are essentially just smaller croquette, but like spherical. We straight up made a new province in the 50s and 60s. And we just reclaimed land from the sea, which I think is pretty awesome. You should look up Flevoland if you want to know more about that. I live there, which I'd like to think I'm pretty cool. You are cool, and, Hugo. We like yeah. you a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I added two flags. Like, I'm from Drenthe, which is to the to the left there. And I currently live in Kronia, which is to the bottom right. There's a historical occurrence of the Dutch people torturing, mauling, and even eating pieces of their prime minister in 1672. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Johan de Witt was severely wounded by a knife wielding assassin on the 21st of June. He resigned as a grand pensionary on 4th of August, but this was not enough for his enemy. His brother Cornelis, who was deputy in the field for Ruiter at the raid of Medway, particularly hated by Orangists, was arrested on trumped up charges of treason. He was tortured as a It's real! Dutch law. <laughs> it's required a confession before a conviction was possible, but refused to confess. Nevertheless, he was sentenced to exile. His brother went over to the jail, which was only a few steps from his house, to help him get started on his journey. Both were attacked by members of the Hague Civic Militia. The brothers were shot and then left to the mob. Huh? Their naked mutilated bodies were strung up on the nearby public gibbet, while the Orangist mob ate their roasted livers in a cannibalistic frenzy. Throughout it all, a remarkable discipline was maintained by the mob, according to contemporary observers, lending doubt as to the spontaneity of the event. The end. Thank you all for listening. <laughs> and as a nice little present, I will now look up the lyrics to Wilhelmus and sing them. No, 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 that's enough, that's enough. Why is, why is the file named Meat Golf 2? <clears throat> Top 100 things Meat Golf 2 don't like. Buy yeah. Meat Golf 2. Kai Kisuke. Ooh. Kai Kisuke. 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 Asuka's bitch ass. Kai Kisuke. 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 Kai Ghouls and other nasty creatures. Kai Kisuke. 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 Evil Man 5. Kai Kisuke. 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 Thank you for watching. Thank you! If you should go back to that last one, I don't think I got that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, which one? Which one? <laughs> no. Yeah, this one, this one. Okay, Kai <laughs> Kisuke, and then I said Kai Kisuke. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, alright. Just making sure. That's, uh, 102 slides. Oh my god. <laughs> That's 102 slides. Uh...